up guys, you here back with my video and today we are going to take a look at how to make a really easy and simple 2D intro that looks something just like this. So to make this intro you need two apps, the first one is Photoshop Touch and the second one a video editor called KineMaster. If you guys don't have those apps, the link is in the description below, you can download both of those apps for free. So once you are actually done with that, you need to head over to Google Images and search up backgrounds. So choose two backgrounds that looks really cool. So as you can see, I already did import them on Photoshop Touch. So in Google Images, there's so many backgrounds. Choose the two that looks really cool, just like this, and import them to Photoshop Touch. So for the next step, you need to import a cool text. So if you guys don't know how to make a cool text just like this, the link is in the description below for the full tutorial. You can learn how to make texts just like this one and basically put it on the center of the screen. Make sure that it is decently big. So once you're done that, hit on that layer text layer and hit on this button hit on select pixels and once that done go ahead and hit on that layers tab and hit on this background the one that it is on the top and basically hit on duplicate layer and once that done hit on that clear button <coughs> okay once that done as you can see you can now just basically get rid of the tag because we don't need it anymore so once that actually done as you can see if you disable this background right over here you will notice that we have a really cool effect as you can see it looks really nice and if you guys would like to change the very bottom Bottom background you will be having a different color text so the next step you can go ahead and just basically duplicate whatever background you want for example this one once that done hit on that end sign right over here on the top and hit on fill and stroke basically make sure that it is white and if you want to add some effect into it you can actually do that so basically hit on that effects button and there is so many effects so just basically mess around with the effect so um, I'm just go ahead and just add this glass right over here and I'm actually happy with that so so for the next step you need to just basically save each and every one of these backgrounds right over here on the layers tab separated so how much we have like four backgrounds so make sure that you save those four backgrounds separated and we will be ready to move on to the next step all right now go ahead and just open up kind master which is this video editor right over here as i mentioned before if you guys don't have it already the link is in the description below you can download it it's free video editor basically now go ahead and just import on it wherever background you want it doesn't really matter for example this black background and you can just control the time for example um i think just 10 seconds is actually enough just like that and i'm going to zoom in so it's going to be more comfortable working with so now you need to hit on that layers tab right over here and make sure that you hit on this image layer so once you're done let's go ahead and basically import the first background that we was working on on photoshop touch which is this one so make sure that it is uh, like full time and the next tab do the same thing with the white background so make sure that you just move it on the side of the screen because we don't need it and do the same thing for the colorful background right over here and make sure that it is full time and for the last step basically go ahead and just make sure that you add this last background which have like your name on it and there we have it so we are actually done with this step and for the next step what you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and just basically add the cool music so i'm going to be using a really cool music that i recently found and if you guys would like to use it on your very own intro that we are about to make the link is in the description below you can go ahead and check it out and make sure that you show support to the creator of this uh, like music because it sounds really cool basically go ahead and just add it and just get a good part from it so make sure that you get the part that have the drop and basically go ahead now and select the parts from the music that have the drop you know when the bass just hits basically go ahead and just select it by pressing on that time, time lap just like this so there's two drops in this music so i'm going ahead and just select the music twice and we will be having something like this so now let's move on to the actual tutorial so basically we are going to add a simple animation to those backgrounds so the first thing select the background on the first hit or the first drop bass drop and basically create a brand new key keyframe and move that uh, background until it's going to cover up the text until we will be able to see the text correctly just like this and do the exact same thing for the colorful background which is this one right over here so just basically add a cool animation into it just like this so basically what we just did is basically we gave them a simple animation so as you can see if you move the video you will notice that our background is actually moving and it is like filling our text i really love the way that it looks 
like and if you want to be creative and basically add your very own colors or just change the colors of the background i'm pretty sure that you will get a better animation but it's all up to you so the next step go ahead to the very end of this video and add a keyframe on this specific background right over here and rotate it and scale it up just like this so the purpose of this is at the end if you just play the video from the beginning you will notice that we just gave, gave our uh, like video a really nice smooth animation where the background just basically changed its position I think it looks really cool so now go to the, go to the first drop of the music which is right over here and add a really close keyframes to each other and basically go ahead and just zoom them in the the actual background just like this so that will add a really cool zoom in effect into our background so basically you guys need to copy me and at the end you'll notice that you will have really nice results so basically the exact same thing on the second drop so make sure you create two keyframes and the second one have a harder zoom and if you guys just finish with that process and if you move the video around you will notice that we just created a really nice kind of shaking slow smooth shaking effect into the intro which is really awesome like this so if you save your video you'll be having something that looks like that So that's about all this video guys and I really hope that all the steps that I mentioned in this tutorial made, sen made sense for you and I really hope that you guys did get the idea on how to make this really basic uh, kind of smooth shaking intro on Android. It looks really awesome in my opinion and I really hope that you guys did love it as well and I'm pretty sure that if you guys did like you know show more effort by finding like a better uh, background or better music background i'm pretty sure that this intro will look 10 times better so yeah show more effort and i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and just drop a like down below i will appreciate it and also guys check my channel out because it's a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you enjoy me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out